It lived about 65 million years ago. It was about the size of a rat and ate insects. But researchers say it's man's earliest relative. We reconstructed using both molecular information, so DNA, as well as a great deal of anatomy and fossils. We put all of that information together and then deduced what the common ancestor of all placental mammals look like. That was Maureen O'Leary who led the team of scientists that identified the animal, which for now is being referred to by its scientific name, the hypothetical placental ancestor. They believe it lived just as the dinosaurs were dying out. And this was also a time when a very large asteroid collided with Earth. So this mammal would have lived through that and survived, so lived through all that time during extinction when the dinosaurs disappeared, and then it would have speciated very quickly and very extensively after that and started to give us the beginnings of the groups of all the mammals that we're familiar with, like primates and whales and bats and things like that. Details about O'Leary's study were published in the journal Science last week.